Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I created this look using Kylie Jenner's new palette, Take Me On Vacation. I normally am not very crazy about her line or her collections, but this one in particular, I was drawn to the yellow, the teal color, even this color was calling. I thought it was so beautiful. Um, that I wanted to try it. I was able to grab this from the collection and the matte lipsticks I did want and I still want to try and um, grab that highlighter, but it keeps selling out. So I sold out immediately and then she relaunched today again and sold out again. But other than that, I wasn't you know going crazy for nothing else. Quick review, just on the shadows that I used today, they're very nice they're very smooth they blended so easily um the teal i did have to kind of uh, reapply a few times to get this pigment i'm sure if i would have wet the brush it would have immediately given me that payoff but i didn't want to wet it i wanted to see you know how it works without any at without adding any uh setting spray or anything um and i like it i really like it um now for the matte lipsticks i'm not a really fan of um i don't know if you can tell the color looks okay i had to mix two colors but it feels so dry you guys like my lips i can't i want to be done with the center so i can like wipe it off with some vaseline and re-moisturize my lips like my lips feel so dry and like they have like that weird like line between you know where the lipstick is and like every time i talk like i don't know i'm not a fan the june bug however was really nice the formula felt so nice and i was so impressed and i was hoping that this one would be the same but um yeah i don't know i think this is gonna be a fail i will try it again I will put a primer underneath and kind of try and moisturize it before I give it my final, final review. But my first impression is like, uh, for the rest of the face, I will put underneath in the description box what I use because I did not record it, you guys. My camera keeps um, overheating on me and, you know, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Actually, 1 o'clock. I'm sorry. I'm lying. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. So, you know, I didn't want to be here till 3. So I had to just do the eyes. And I did do the hair for you guys because my hair was kind of yucky. It was already kind of, you know, flat and yucky. So I did a quick tutorial for you guys. And that's exactly what I would do if I was going out and I didn't want to do my hair. Those are the products that I am loving right now. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to follow me on other social media platform, my Instagram and my Snapchat. There I am always um, uploading stuff. I do outfit of the days. So I keep on watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, so first things first, let's do something about this hair. Um, it's three days old. I don't want to wash it. And this is what I do when I'm just being kind of lazy. I'm going to just brush my hair. I like to part it where I want it to be before I do this. That just saves time for me. And I'm going to go in with my weight hair oil, which I love. One pump is enough for the whole hair. Then I'm going to go in with the Way Soft Mousse. I love this mousse because it doesn't flatten out my hair. Gives it a nice volume and it smells so delicious. And then I'm going to go in with the Wave Spray, also by Way, And I love this so much, you guys. Like, it smells, again, so good. And it makes my hair look so nice, like those beachy waves. I'm going to do part my hair in four. Um, I'm going to twist it and make sure it's nice and tight. And then go around it as you see. 
you take a bobby pin or a clip whatever you have and um and just hold it there now the longer you let it sit the better um the results i going to say I let it sit for you know however long it took me to do my makeup I am gonna try this uh, primer mask by BioBell I got it in my um, boxy charm and I was very curious to try it so I'm gonna put it on it feels really hydrating really really hydrating that's my first impression really curious to see how my makeup is going to wear I usually prep my skin always with a um, sheet mask so if this is going to serve as a mask and a primer I'm very curious to see so I took it off um, obviously five minutes later and my skin was so wet like guys um, I tried massaged it in and then I ended up having to pat dry it because there was just so much residue left so I am going to do my face off camera as mentioned before and I'll be right back oh here I am <laughs> so I'm priming my eyes with soft ochre this is my favorite primer um, as it just helps the color show up and stay put all day so I am using the Take Me On Vacation palette by Kylie Cosmetics and I am going to go in with the shade, so I can't tell which one, I think it's Sea Breeze. Yeah, I believe it's Sea Breeze. I'm looking at the colors in the back, as you know, the colors are not in the front and I'm using a flat shader brush to apply it I am gonna bring that color all up to my brow bone um, also to set that concealer that I applied there and brighten under my brows then I'm going to go in with pina colada um, this color was calling me from from when I saw the pictures of the palette I thought it would be a little more pigmented it really is not at least in my medium skin tone, it doesn't show as much as I hope. But I went in and, you know, try and blend it in as much as I could so that it would show up a little bit on my skin. I am going to start and applying this color. And it's called Island Girl. I did start with the wrong brush as you can see um, this brush was a little too small so I went ahead and grabbed that um, a shader brush by Morphe in E14 and it helped me a lot better the color is not as doesn't apply as buttery or smooth as I was hoping I did have to keep going in and kind of I'm sliding in, in the skin to get it to show up um, it was a little tough but hey we got it to work I'm pretty sure if I would have wetted the the brush a little maybe that would have helped but um, as far as applying the color dry it gives you a little it is a little tough but it's doable um, the color is stunning however so you know just pack it on and keep it moving then I'm gonna go in with the color starfish which I have to say is my favorite of the palette so far that I've used such a beautiful warm um, color very um, complimentary on my skin and I love these type of colors for a transition shade now I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford pencil, eyeliner pencil, and do a liner. Now I did, was able to grab the beginning, guys, and then I needed to be able to get closer to the mirror, and I didn't capture, but I did a little bit of a wing here. More dramatic than I've been doing. I think this look called for that. And then I'm, I, I am applying the shade... Summer 17, which is also very pretty, very shimmery. 
in the inner part of my eye. And then I'm going to go in and take out all this bacon with my Chanel Universal powder. And this is in the 40. I like to do this so that it brings back a little bit of warmth into my skin. Now with my Dewar pencil and carbon, I am going to line my eyes and then blend that color in with the shade spray tan. And just to bring a little bit of warmth under my eyes and a little smokiness. Then back with that Pina Colada, just to keep everything looking the same, that bring in that transition color in under my eyes. And then that color again, Summer 17, in the bottom inner corner part of my eye. Um, again, and this is, as you know, to brighten the look. I'm going in with my now favorite mascara, officially favorite mascara, Roller Lash by Benefit Cosmetics. I am loving this mascara so much, you guys. And I am going to apply fake lashes off camera, but this is the look. As you can see, overall. Overall, I'm happy with the palette. I think it was, I'm happy I have it. I don't regret it. Um, I did apply Huda Beauty in Giselle. Uh, it was the perfect lash for this look, I feel. I love those lashes. Um, they're nice and wispy and let the eye look show. And, you know, they're not too heavy. Um, so this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you next on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.